Yeah, that's right. You take that guy down. Oh, that's it shows you that you're watching a movie. Okay, so we're about to watch a movie. But hand duelist is dead, his, his companions. Whoever did this certainly wasn't an unarmed girl. That's cool. The more Marion spoke of Lucius, which she did often, crediting him with the carnage you saw. <sighs> the more memories seemed to fill your head. It was clear they were Iana's. She apparently used her family's wealth to run a soup kitchen for the city's poor. You saw the smiling vagrant begging for food from the soup kitchen every day, and heard Iana eventually chastise him for being able-bodied but relying on charity. With a laugh, he handed her two tickets to a play in a local theater. As more memories flashed, you shared Iana's realization that this man was Lucius Quinto, a famous playwright. Could this be Marion's Lucius? What kind of playwright could commit such carnage? Especially one who seems so charming. Okay. I guess I just leveled up too. Local villagers are sure to be blamed for these deaths. I should warn them and take Bloodham Club as proof. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, skill upgrades. Really? Shield Slam. Upgrade to the three? Let's see. Carnage rank two. Why is this? Oh, that's the regular one. Okay. Uh, I need level 10. I'm only battle rage level 7. No skill points yet. No, cancel. I don't want to spend 30 of that right now. Alright, uh... Yeah, boy! Look at that! Look at that! Yeah! Oh, oh, that's a big drop. Do I do I receive fall damage? Oh, I don't receive fall damage. Ooh, that's nice. Carnivorous bee. Yeah, boy. Take that farmer's crown first. Um, let's see. And my heal, my thing heals. That's cool. Uh, over time, I see a quest. I don't know. Most of this stuff is going to be grinding for the most part uh, to begin with. So, I mean, most MMOs are. We got at the ward, and if so, could you let Gilbert know that we won't be able to meet for his quota for mutton for this month? Those bees made off with quite a bit of our flock. It'd be some time before fields are full. Alright. Fine. Whoa! Can I touch this combat flag? Did you get- did you give me that combat flag? Can I? All right. You know, whatever's that. Here's the mire. That's right. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Are you interested in building a home someday? Some people are content to wander the world with no place to call their own, but I think owning your house is important for any new in. Why don't you have a look inside of some of these model homes? I promise you won't regret it. So, look inside a model home. Report to Gilbert. And Gilbert should... Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. No loading screen. 
I'd buy one of these. Lovely, what do you think? What do you think? Lovely, aren't they? Sure, you've got to pay a few taxes, but I wouldn't give mine up for the world. Just buy design from Mirage Isle, collect some materials, and build yourself a dream house. Good luck. Oh, yeah! I can't. You guys have no idea how happy I am that I can jump. Am I am I stuck? What? Jump! <sighs> oh, they're both in this town. Cool. Oh, this guy—he looks like he's closer. What are you doing with Blood Hand's glove? Are you some sort of trouble? A group of one-headed assassins was murdered in the Western Monolith, and I came to warn you, sir. The armor is still crackling with energy. It was nothing like I've ever seen. Yes, you're right. I can sense strong res residual magic in this glove. The one who killed those men is no ordinary spellcaster. The blood hands had been a frequent topic of conversation in Soul's Reap for years. They were known as a secretive association of assassins, with dealings at all levels of society. The group's motives were shrouded in mystery. But rumors spoke of religious fanaticism and a plot to rule the Crescent Throne. Blamed for a spate of kidnappings, they became the region's boogeymen. A reason for children to fear the dark and for parents to secure their homes at nightfall. Of course, these everyday phobias belied the true horror of the organization. They had allegedly assassinated the last king, and had grown very dangerous and powerful. You wondered if they'd had any historical precedent in Yana's time. However, her memories held no mention of these dark assassins or their trademark crimson gloves. Okay. Coming to saying, my instincts are telling me there's more to this than meets the eye. Take this glove east to this crescent zone and find the general G uh, Giovanni. Tell him everything you know about what happened. Uh, General Javonin? The guards would throw me out. Trust me, they'll have bigger concerns. Mention my name, show the glove to General Tell him Lucius Quinto has returned. Oh shit. Alright. Let's, uh. Let's go to Gilbert real quick. What? Not enough mutton, but I need that to run my business. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I hadn't heard about these bees. I suppose I can make do while Annette's flock recovers. Gods, it, gods, it seems that, like, times are hard all over lately. Ever since those damn blood hands killed King Peridin, this whole country's been falling apart. <clears throat> Alright, well, uh, this has been one hell of an episode. Um, we'll start back here next time. Uh, Please like, favorite, subscribe to me, obviously. Uh, it would mean a great deal to me. Uh, I'm going to be posting more of this. Here, here. Yeah, okay. Um, it would mean a great deal to me to have you guys subscribe to me and watch my videos. You have no idea. Uh, watch out for another uh, episode of this. Uh, Alright, guys. Peace out.